Welcome to Electro Online. Here we're going to see something really interesting. We're going to start out with the flow rate of ENM momentum per unit area. So dpdt is the amount of momentum per unit time that flows past per unit area past a given point. We're going to relate that somehow to radiation pressure. So stay tuned and see how that works and it's all going to be done using units. First of all, let's plug in the units for momentum divided by time. So when we do that, momentum, the units are kilograms, meters per second, and then one over second would be the units of one over time, so we have per second per second, and we divide that by the unit for area, which is meters squared. Now here this will simplify to kilograms, meters, per second squared, and we have meters squared. Now, of course, kilograms, meters per second squared, that's the units for newtons, and so we have newtons per meter squared, which refers to pressure, or pascals. So this can be thought of as radiation pressure. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how we can come up with the equation for that using units. What we're going to do is rewrite this. So we'll write it as dp divided by a times dt. So put an a there times dt. And now we're going to multiply the numerator and denominator by dx. So times dx divided by dx. And notice if we take dx dt, well, that would be equal to the speed, right? The x dt is definition of speed in differential form. And of course, since we're talking about ENM radiation, that would be the speed of light. So the x dt can be written as c. So this can be written as dp divided by a times dx times the x dt. And then we can make another change area, which is a fixed quantity, like per unit area, times the x, well, that would be a change in volume. So this cannot be written as dp divided by dv times the x dt, which is the speed of light. Now when we take a look at this equation, we can see that that is the momentum per unit volume, which can be written as the magnitude of the pointing vector divided by c squared. So this can be written as, uh, let's see here, that would be 1 over mu sub naught, this would be the instantaneous pointing vector, times e times b divided by c squared. So this would be the same as the PDV, which is the, the uh, density of the momentum, or the momentum density of the electromagnetic radiation, and then we multiply the times c. Now this quantity right here, between the outlook in parentheses, so to speak. Well, that is equal to the pointing vector, which is also equal to the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation. Which means that we have a c in the numerator, a c squared in the denominator, and intensity. So this can be written as the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation divided by c, or times c over c squared, which is the same as divided by c. And this is equal to the dpdt per unit area, with other words, the flow rate of the momentum per unit area of electromagnetic radiation, which can be written as the intensity of the radiation divided by the speed of light, which via the units, we were able to show that this was equal to the radiation pressure. So the radiation pressure must be equal to the intensity of the electromagnetic radiation divided by the speed of light quite a way in which we can show these relationships with electromagnetic radiation simply using units and it's quite beautiful when you take a look at it and that's how it's done.